Well, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to another uh, edition of Icon Elevate. It's really wonderful to welcome today. Now, I don't know, do you know, I call you Dr. Matt Foot or Associate Professor Matt Foot, or is it Professor Matt Foot these days? Uh, Associate Professor, or Matt's <laughs> fine, Matt. <laughs> so, Associate Professor Matt Foot. Matt's uh, a radiation oncologist with us with Icon. He's been a key leader, not just amongst our clinical group, but a key leader across the group. So, it's wonderful to welcome you today. Matt, I've got, a, I've got a series of questions I'd like to ask you, and I think the ICON team will be fascinated by your journey thus far. So firstly, um, you're well known as being a very, very innovative radiation oncologist. Um, your ICON base, I guess, is green slopes. Yep. And you've got a real passion for stereotactic uh, radiotherapy, yep. uh, which is obviously um, the latest and the greatest and I think making a real difference for for patients. So can you share with the team, I mean, that's one facet of your career thus far. What, are the, what have been the highlights for Matt Foote's career thus far? Uh, well, firstly, Mark, thanks for the, for the invitation. I think if I look at my career, actually doing radiation oncology itself has been a highlight. Um, I think it's a, an amazing specialty um, and a very powerful specialty. In terms of uh, highlights, certainly I had the opportunity to do an overseas fellowship and that was key, um, getting to work with some key leaders in our field. Uh, on returning and before joining ICON, um, I set up the Gamma Knife Centre of Queensland and, and certainly that was a highlight of my career and really has set a number of things up, particularly in that stereotactic space. Um, since joining ICON, there's a couple of highlights that uh, really stick to mind and I guess the first is being able to work with people that have been mentors for me through my career, uh, some of which were the founding members of, of ICON. Yeah. And then I think the rollout of the Stereotactic program through ICON has been a real highlight, plus being able to mentor some of our junior ROs into positions has, has really been a highlight for me, particularly more recently. Yeah, no, great, absolutely. Becoming a doctor, Matt, was that the dream or did you think about other things? Matt Foote is a young man, young boy, what were you dreaming of being? Uh, I think like most young boys probably a rock star or, or something like that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you chose to be a doctor? Yeah I think I was always interested in health sciences, um, yep. uh, have a number of family members that are in the health field you know, I was fortunate enough to be close to my uncle and auntie growing up and my uncle was a doctor and, and that was probably a key moment and, and he certainly encouraged me to, to go down that pathway. So, um, yes, I think in many ways always kind of interested. Going through school, though, was it a clear direction, I'm going to be a doctor? Uh, no, actually. Um, my, at that stage, both my father and brother were pharmacists, so in many ways it was kind of expected for me to go down that pathway. And it was actually a, a key moment in my career where I met with the, the student counsellor, and that was a, a defining point, um, and obviously chose a slightly different pathway. And, and in terms of the specialty of radiation oncology, why so? Um, I think it's a great mix of things, Mark. I think it's got that patient contact. Um, I love the technology angle, um, the medical imaging, the interface with all of the key specialists within the oncology spectrum. And I, I just, I think it had all of those ingredients that made it a really attractive specialty. Yeah, okay, no, great stuff, great stuff. Now, Matt, you have a very, very hectic schedule. You've got a large, public practice, you've got a very large and growing private practice, you're in a leadership role with ICON, mm -hmm. um, which you know I'm sure people will hear more about as that continues to grow over the journey. How do you relax? How does Matt Foot relax? It, also being a clinician, it's a very stressful job. You have an enormous amount of responsibility. People look to you for care in, in really what is an hour of need. Mm -hmm. um, how does Matt Foot relax? How do you get away from the stress? These are really important uh, questions I think that our team would have. In terms of just managing work, life, family, all of those things. Look, I think like many people, we all struggle with finding that balance and, and that certainly rings true. And I think that there's a lot of 
layers to that question. I think if you look at my work schedule, I think uh, time management is key. I constantly look at processes and how we can improve and be more efficient. I think for me to be the best radiation oncologist that I can be, I need to look after all other aspect, aspects of my life. Um, and I think that includes my physical health. Um, so for me, cycling and running are key parts to my lifestyle. I think I need to look after my mental health and for that, having regular downtime, uh, actually scheduling in regular downtime into my weekly schedule where I get away from my phone uh, is key and I think making sure that I make a concerted effort to have downtime with my family yeah, to make sure I'm, I'm engaged. So Matt, we've talked about uh, a little bit on stereotactic radiotherapy. What's the most exciting thing for you around the future of that technology? Where, where can we take it? Yeah, Mark, good question. I, I think there's still a lot of scope uh, for us to learn a lot more in this space. I think we're really just scratching the surface. In the oncology space, I think it's the sequencing of stereotactic treatment with all of these new drug agents, whether that be immune therapy, targeted therapy. But I really think that where we can really make a big difference is in benign and non-cancer yeah, conditions. Wow. So things where I've seen it being a really powerful tool is in vascular conditions, so blood vessel malformations, pain syndromes, um, and those range of benign conditions. So Matt, I'd like to uh, sort of wrap up these Icon Elevate interviews with a couple of questions that um, I think are really, really interesting for our people, they're certainly interesting for me. I'm a voracious reader. Um, what, what book does Matt Foote recommend that I read? So the best book I've read in the last year has been Scar Tissue by Anthony Kiedis, oh, yeah. Red Hot Red Chili, Chili Peppers. Peppers. Yeah, yeah. And knowing stuff. that you're an old school rocker, I thought that <laughs> might appeal to you. So it is a good book? Oh, fascinating. I must admit I'm not a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan, but I should read that book. He's had a pretty interesting life story, I would imagine. How that man is still alive, I do not know. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. All right. Who's inspired you to be your best across your life? Oh, difficult one. Um, in terms of one in, one person in particular, I really can't say. I guess career-wise, a range of people have been a source of inspiration. I guess in terms of being the best person I can be, you know, I think my wife and kids are key to that. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great answer. And it's funny, you know, when I ask that question for Icon team members, it's my mum, my dad, my partner, my kids. So it's a, it's a really, really, um, it's an interesting question, but people always have a similar theme. Mm. Now this will date you a little bit, I know you're quite a bit younger than myself, but first music album you ever bought? Uh, I bought two at the same time, um, Hootie and the Blowfish oh, wow. and Roachford. Hootie and the Blowfish, I know, they had one big song, what was it? Wanna um, Be With You? Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> and Roachford, who were they? Um, Roachford is like a, an American rock band from the early 90s. Yeah, okay. Um, I think they only put out one or two albums, but I, I still listen yeah, to Yeah, the lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish went on to be a very big country music star. Yeah, well, yeah. they had a lot of co country influences even in those early days. There you go, there yeah. you go. No, good stuff. Hey, um, Matt Foote's favourite holiday destination in Australia? Noosa. Noosa, you love Noosa. Love Close Noosa. second, Hamilton Island. Yeah, okay. Why Noosa? I love Noosa too, but why Noosa? Uh, I think it, it's actually got a very... It's where Kelly and I got engaged. Oh, it's where wow. we had our wedding. Yeah, wow. Uh, it's where we go on regular holidays with our children, so it is a very special place for us. Yeah, great stuff. Favourite holiday destination internationally? I would have to say... Uh, New York, not necessarily because it's my favourite, but as a family, I know that my girls just love going there yeah. and to see the joy on their faces, even when we talk about New York, yeah. Uh, yeah. probably has to make it my favourite as well. Yeah, no, look, we've had quite a few family holidays in New York too, and my family's the same. It's an amazing place. So much energy, so much, um, so many things happening, yep. which is wonderful. Matt Ford, 
Thank you so much for taking the time to join us on Icon Elevate. Thank you so much for taking the time to share your story with the Icon team. Can't wait to see what the next few years bring for you on not only your clinical journey, but your leadership journey as well. Thanks for being part of Icon Elevate. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Matt.